Hello! So today I thought I'd just show you how to easily create your own bump map for your materials and textures using GIMP and a normal map plugin for GIMP just in case you don't know, you know Surely there exists software that creates normal maps for you, but it's fun to know how to do it yourself so first, of course you will need to have GIMP and you will need uh, Unreal Engine 4. You could also do this in Blender, surely, but I'm not gonna do that now. And then what you will search for is GIMP Normal Map Plugin. And then the first one. And in here you simply go pick the download you need, so I took the Windows 64 bit and then you will get a zip file where you get a few let's see if I can find them yeah so you will get these files three DLL files and one uh, you know application file so then when you have this you need to find program files I guess where you installed GIMP and then go into GIMP and into lib GIMP 2.0 plugins and in plugins you put the application file and the three DLL files you will put in bin. So when you've done this we can enter GIMP. So now I'm just gonna texturize this floor. And it's not gonna be, you know, anything special. It will just be whatever. So I'll just create thousand times thousand pixels and just to check that it actually is installed the normal map plugin you can go to filters map and then you will see normal map here yes so first I'll just use a pattern fill for my floor Maybe this one, like that. This should create some nice bumps. But first, I'm only gonna export this and use this as the main texture. Floor. Yeah, I'll just put it on my desktop, whatever. And then in UE4, I will go into my textures and materials folder and then import the floor texture. And this is not a power of two, it's a bad texture, so yeah, whatever, I don't care, it's okay. It's okay for this, you know, just to show you. It's not okay if you're actually creating a game, unless you're, you know, you're lazy and don't really care, like I tend to do. <laughs> so yeah, now I just drag this texture onto the floor and it created a material for me. So when I open the material, I have it here. And this is where we will put the normal map. So go back to GIMP and then I'll duplicate this layer, remove the one behind just because and then select the one I want a normal map. Then go up to filters, map, normal map. And you should probably use 3D view. 
because it's easier to you know get an overview of the situation that way so let's see you see the bumps here they're not really that strong so what you can do is change the sample like this for example or maybe something else yeah, so you, you can just play around with the settings you know I'm gonna use this one for now that's okay so then you get this nice normal map so I'll export this that ass I mean I'll export that as floor normal map PNG like that. Export. And then back in Unreal we will import that texture. Normal map. Not a power to look how I care. And then you can just drag this norm normal map into the material and you will get it here and then first I'm gonna change the preview to a box no actually to a plane and then you can simply connect this to normal boom and it looks looks not so good there but it's okay I'll just say And now it is a bump map. Yay! Whoops. <laughs> that was a short life. Well, you know, these were really tiny, so if the bumps were bigger or the details were bigger, you would get a more better feel for it. And you know, if you want these bumps to be harder or more visible then then you can just you know do something as easy as go to brightness and contrast and just drag up the contrast like that oh not that much but you know a little bit more and then you can simply export as the same and overwrite replace and then back again in unreal you can just right click the normal map and re-import And now you can see the bumps. They're almost a little bit over the top right now, but you know, it illustrates my point. So, yeah, that's a really simple way to create your own normal maps. So, enjoy your life, like the video if you like it, and subscribe if you want more tutorials, and have a great day.